What's going on guys? For this video, I'm doing a special experiment of learning music. I'm gonna be learning three different pieces using three different methods over the period of a month, and I'm gonna see which method yields the best results. So for one piece, I'm going to only practice mentally for the first half of my practice session by just studying the score and visualizing where my fingers will go on the fretboard of the guitar and trying to learn it that way. And then for the second half of my practice session with that piece, I will um, actually play the guitar. So for the second piece, I literally just want to read through the piece. That's how I'm going to approach learning it. It's kind of just starting at the beginning, working my way um, all the way through. And then for the third one, what I want to do is work on section. So literally take a small chunk learn that section, try to memorize that section before I move on to the next uh, section. The pieces I'm going to be working on are by Taroba and they're from the Castles of Spain. The first piece I'm going to do is Remor de Copla and I want to learn this one in sections. The next one I'm going to do is Manzanares del Real and this one is the one that I want to just kind of just play through it. Um, the entire thing probably almost every time I practice it. The last piece I want to work on is Terragano and this one is substantially harder than the other ones um, and it's twice as long and this is the one I want to approach mentally first and then uh, work on playing it. I'm going to try to practice these pieces probably about six days a week, um, maybe for about 20 minutes on each piece. So not a whole lot of time but I really want to see if my consistency and my different methods of learning um, helps me figure out the best way to learn. So with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get right into my first practice session. My first time literally reading through these pieces ever. Like most guitarists, I am not a great sight reader, but let's get into it. Okay, so this is going to be my first read through of Remor de Coppola. Let's see what happens. Probably not going to be too pretty, but yeah. Okay, and this is the one that I'm learning uh, in sections. That's where I'm going to stop. That's going to be my first section. I'm going to go ahead and work on this for about 20 minutes or so, and that'll be that. Okay, for the next one, we're just going to have a read through basically of the entire piece. So let's do this. G13. What is this fingering? Oh, he wants it up here. I see. Okay, so. Camera's flashing, it's about to die.
Okay, so for the last piece, I'm just going to do some mental practice before I even pick up my guitar, before I even play anything. So I'm literally just going to be like this, staring at the score, but trying really hard to envision where my fingers would go if I was going to play this and try to picture and imagine everything that would happen um, as if I was playing. And then I'll probably try playing just a little bit of it, but it's mostly going to be uh, mental. All right, time for the last piece, my very first read through. Um, I just kind of like went through and looked at this piece, kind of tried to go through it a couple times mentally. So now let's have our first read through. And what I'm probably going to do with this video is today's a Thursday, so I think I'm going to check back in uh, once a week and kind of try to monitor the progress that way. And in four weeks, we'll see where I'm at. And hopefully these will be playable, these will be in good condition, and we'll see what the different levels are of each three pieces and the differences, um, pros and cons from the three different methods. So I'll see you guys in a week. Peace. All right, we are back, and it has been one week um, of me playing these pieces. I practiced these pieces uh, six days out of the week for 15 minutes each and I approach them in each of the different ways. Now I'm just going to play through them quickly just to monitor the progress. So here we go. Starting with uh, Remor de Coppola. Mm -hmm. So that was that one, just without the repeat, just to save time and space on my memory card. Alright, next is Manzanares de Real. Thank you. 
Terragano, and this one, I'm probably just going to play like the first few pages just for the sake of time. So that's it for week one of 15 minutes of practice um, for the last six days. Um, so far I actually feel like I'm doing pretty okay with these pieces um, considering the small amount of time that I've spent with them. Manzanares I think I almost have memorized and then Turagano actually almost seemed like it went the best and that was the one that I was mentally practicing. I think like up in my head I feel more secure about it maybe which is interesting. I think that all the pieces are probably roughly the same amount learned, um, despite the different ways that I'm approaching them. But I do think that Terragano, the one that I'm mentally practicing first, is probably the most, obviously, um, I guess mentally solid thus far. So that's it. I will check in with you guys next week to monitor the process. All right, guys, what's going on? It's been two weeks since I last checked in with you guys. Um, it's actually Thanksgiving Day today. It's about 11.50 at night. Um, and last week I decided not to record anything because I honestly didn't feel like I made that much progress in the week before. And I felt like recording my pieces again was, would kind of be redundant. Uh, so I just decided to wait another week. Uh, so here we are two weeks later from the last recording. I believe this is the fourth week that I've been working on these pieces um, and so I thought I would just play through them before I end my night. Um, the first two pieces I'm going to play I actually already have memorized. I think I memorized them during the second or third week. I don't know. They just ended up being memorized. Um, and then the third piece, Tiragano, that I'm working on still has yet to be memorized but I would say it's probably about 80% of the way memorized but um, when I play it for you guys I'm going to use the music just to be safe. So. Here is the progress.
right, so I just want to remind you guys that I've only been playing these pieces for about 15 minutes a day, probably five to six days a week um, at 15 minutes max. So next up is Remora de Coppola. Last but not least, Tarragano.
so that is it. That's where the pieces are at after, I think this is the fourth week. And I actually still have, I think there's like one more week left in November. So I want to do it for this whole month. Um, and so hopefully in this next week, I'll be able to start polishing the pieces and kind of get them all up to tempo. Um, the other two are pretty close. This one still needs a bit of work. As far as the different outcomes that I can see from learning the pieces three different ways, um, I feel like learning the piece just as I would normally go and learning the one in sections, I feel like I've pretty much turned out the same as far as end results go. Um, the difference between those two and Terragano is that obviously I've had less time, less play time um, on Terragano because I've been trying to practice it mentally. Um, and I feel like... I feel like because I've had less playtime, that's the reason that that one is like not up to speed maybe, but I feel like mentally, I'm in a pretty good space with it, like I feel like mentally the piece is all there, um, it's gonna be memorized in like probably the next couple of days, like no problem. Um, so I will check back in with you guys um, in one more week where I will do probably all like my final thoughts and all my conclusions. So I will see you guys then, peace.